Some New York State elected leaders say they're worried about some industrial development agencies or IDA's operations. WENY's New York Capital correspondent Elise Klein continues our investigative series focusing on the reasons for concern and proposed reforms. She joins us live tonight from Albany. Elise. Nick, Renata, good evening. Recent re audit reports from the New York State Authority's Budget Office show that some IDAs have mismanaged nearly $2 million just within this past year. And some New York State lawmakers tell me they worry some of these agencies have no respect for managing public money and taxpayer interests. In Albany, several bills in the legislature seek to change how industrial development agencies, or IDAs, operate and spend public money. Some lawmakers are calling for more oversight of IDA operations and their deals with private businesses. They've set themselves up to have very little accountability to the taxpayers or to the government that helps fund them. Uh, there are tools at our disposal as legislators to better hold IDAs accountable. Right now, there is very little accountability, and so they do operate in many cases like the Wild West. According to a recent Senate committee investigation report, some IDAs granted unnecessary tax breaks to businesses for projects that some lawmakers say would have happened without financial incentives. Tax breaks granted by IDAs result in less money to local school districts. That, that's a real problem. Uh, education funding should be separate and taken out of uh, economic development subsidies. Senator Ryan says his legislation introduced in Albany will prevent IDAs from waiving taxes that would otherwise be received by a school district. Other lawmakers are also concerned about IDA operations. Proposed legislation would require a school board representative on IDA boards making decisions about economic development projects and tax breaks. If it's a residential project, which is going to increase the number of students in a school district or is going to affect the tax base, of the school district, which taxes separately, they ought to have a seat at the table and be engaged with the IDA. Senator Scufa says one way to combat this issue is to regionalize or limit the number of IDAs operating around the state. Scufus currently sponsors legislation to do this. Scufus underscores there are some IDAs that do what they're supposed to do and help communities grow their economies. But there are simply not enough of them doing the right thing, he says. And we have a lot of work to do as a state legislature to clean up these acts. As the next legislative session approaches, starting here in Albany in just a few weeks, we will be following this issue and tell you where some of these bills end up. Reporting live, Elise Klein, WENY News. Nick, Renata, back to you.